Hey guys, welcome back to Captain Jasper and episode 2 of Rabbit Nutrition and Feeding. Today I'm going to show you exactly what I feed my bunnies throughout the week and talk through their daily feeding schedule. The first thing I do when I wake up around 6.30, 7am is go and check the bunnies and give them a morning treat. This is usually a small bit of dried root such as dandelion or a dried flower. Occasionally it can be an oat based treat too. This has become essential to our morning routine and the bunnies won't let me walk past them into the kitchen without getting their wake up treat. After I've made myself coffee and woken up a bit I give them half of their daily greens. I'll give them this so they have to forage to get it, so under grass or hay or stuffed into loo rolls. I like to present their food to them differently each day, but the ultimate goal is to get your bunnies to forage for every meal. Rabbits are natural foragers that in the wild will spend a huge proportion of their time foraging for food, so it is essential to not just display it on a plate for them, make them work to get it. This in turn will encourage natural behaviours and decrease stress. When I go upstairs to get ready, I usually give them a quarter of their daily recommended pellets in their ball or cups so they have to work to get them out. It usually keeps them out of trouble. I come downstairs around 9 or 10 and give them a huge handful of grass from outside. I will scatter a variety of dried flour, hibiscus is their favourite, dried herbs and roots, mixing it up each day. In the winter I will provide the bunnies with forage mix as there is less in my garden that I grow for them to eat. I'll go through at the end where I get my forage mix and how I make my own. If you're making up your own forage mix as I usually do, I recommend using a handful of dried bunny safe leaves along with a small handful of different dried roots, flowers, herbs and occasionally fruit per day. I will usually split this and give them half in the morning and half at night. Just remember to introduce your bunny to anything unfamiliar slowly before feeding everything at once. I like to present the grass differently each day to mix it up and make them work for their food. They have fresh hay and water available all the time, which I replenish around two times a day. They usually have a nap from around 11am to 1pm, when they wake up and they'll have more fresh grass with another quarter of their pellets sprinkled in, again so they have to forage for them. In the afternoons in the spring, summer and early autumn, I provide the bunnies with either apple, hazel or occasionally willow sticks. They love stripping the leaves and the bark off the sticks. This again promotes natural behaviours and will help them wear down their teeth. Allowing bunnies to chew on sticks will also help decrease the chance of them chewing on things they shouldn't. At dinner time I give the bunnies the other half of their greens or another quarter of their pellets. I will again make this so they have to forage for it. 
You want to make giving food as interesting as possible and rotate how you display it, so they don't get bored with one method. We also like to eat dinner at the same time as the bunnies as it is a social and bonding experience. At around 7pm, we're usually all watching a movie together, and the buns will have the other half of their greens or pellets, depending on what they had at dinner. We usually have this sat together to bond, and I will have a snack, but again I will present it so they have to forage to work for it. Occasionally we'll do some training at this time with pellets as the reward. When I go upstairs to bed, I will do another forage tray with hay and the remainder of this small handful of forage mix, roots, flowers and herbs for them. So that is a typical day. What I feed day to day varies. As I said in episode one, variety is key for optimum nutrition of any species. In the summer and spring months, we have leaves growing on an apple, willow and hazel and soon pear tree that I often make into my own forage mix for them along with our freshly grown herbs. In the spring and summer, we also have a veg patch where we grow greens and fruit for the bunnies. In the winter months I really do rely on shop-bought forage mixes and dried roots and flowers to help create our own forage. Things I will typically buy are dried apple leaves, dried dandelion root, dried hibiscus, rose and calendula flowers and loads more. Variety is key but remember to introduce anything unfamiliar to your bunny slowly. I've listed some of my bunny's favourite safe greens, including different varieties that are safe and their typical nutritional values. I've also listed three that you should never feed.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next week on episode 3 we're going to be talking about herbs.